Hi everyone, it's Winston back with another Arts and Craft video and today we're not going to be doing an origami video. We'll be reviewing something that I've had in my cupboard for a very long time that I bought on an impulse and in my head I was like, I'll need this at some point so I'm going to buy this and, you know, put it in my handbag and take it out with me when I need it. And what I'm talking about is these hand sewing machines i think that's what they're called they've been around obviously for a while now however over i think like the past couple of years there's more brands releasing these hand sewing machines and they're more common to buy across the internet as well so when i saw this in tiger i thought wow let's pick this up because I believe it was definitely less than £10, dare I say £5 maybe. So it's definitely much more inexpensive than the ones I've seen online. And like I said before, I thought, yeah, I'm going to need this at some point because it's so much easier than whipping out my whole large sewing machine when I'm just trying to fix something small. However, I have still decided to go with hand sewing instead of taking this out and it's still besides the packaging it was in on the outside it's still in the same form as I bought it so I thought let's test this out let's do a review of it so in order to test this I'm going to need some fabric and I know kind of the limits of a hand sewing machine they can't do like very thick material like denim and leather so I've just got some scrap cotton from when I made those blinds at the back a couple of years ago. I've still got some scraps here and I think this should be enough to test so I'm going to test like one layer then two layers and kind of keep folding and adding layers to see how far I can go with um, using this hand sewing machine. To start off with then I guess we can start unpacking um, this for the first time and just carefully taking this out. So here is how it comes looking. So the side, front, the other side and yeah so it's almost like a stapler basically is one way to describe it i think it's already hooked up it'll be useful actually no i think i need to do the final part hooking the needle up but it's more or less already hooked up um but that is the sewing machine and then inside it came with the, the other bits and bobs you need and then I think there's another bobbin with white thread so it comes with black and white thread the typical colours you usually need when fixing um, small breaks and stuff full holes so it also comes with a set of instructions that are all picture based so yeah here are the instructions and I'm just going to spend like a few minutes just <laughs> looking at it to make sure it's set up properly because it's my first time. So when I unpacked everything I didn't know what this was and then I realised it's supposed to help pull your thread to the other side of the needle which I find really cool. Um, so <laughs> this is my first time doing it, I don't know if it's correct but I guess you just kind of drag it along and then it pulls your thread through that was really easy to do um yeah this is such a little flimsy device but it's so useful now it was already threaded up so if you hold it uh this way around you can kind of see how it's basically the same structure of how a large sewing machine will look it's even uh i don't think you can see that side but this side you can see the um ruler for how you can measure up how the depth of how much you want to sew So the first try didn't um, work 
and the results was it on the other side uh we got one we got the initial uh thread through to create like the first uh not to then carry on but then i don't know what happened i must have pressed it down too hard and it just yeah snapped the thread so i'll try again even though there's there's no instructions really how to do this so i'm just going by instinct and i try to make sure it's not too tight or else it's um going to snap the thread again uh so yeah let's hope this time it might work slightly better cool so again yeah this is really difficult i just don't understand how it would thread okay what if i tightened it instead um it's the loose thread has it gone through i don't know this is so difficult to tell what's going on <gasps> actually no it's working now look there is red let me zoom in um but there is red it is working this is exciting um it's not that easy to control i don't think actually i don't know i think after a while you kind of get used to controlling it but there is some like weirdness where you it has not gone down properly as you can tell um i think you really do need to push hard down on it um and yeah the I, it's quite neat though that's the thing it's quite neat it's definitely um neater than i would ever be able to sew and does like really small uh stitches as i'm moving down slowly i guess if i move down faster the stitching will be bigger but it's uh, like i said because it's like not flat the other side and your hands like underneath it's a bit more difficult to control in that sense but i guess after a while you can get it into a straight line and i'm also quite weak my hands so when pressing down i'm using quite a bit of force and i kind of have to concentrate to make sure that i'm not going too fast or too slow or pressing too hard or too weak and, and this is on single uh layer of cotton it's here you can see it's gone all the way through certain parts it hasn't um so i think i'm gonna stop there for now because it's going to become more of a mess and this was on one layer uh so i'm gonna try and double layer it now so after actually surprising not much struggle i somehow actually got this to loop through the needle the thread and yeah i am now gonna bump it up a bit and test kind of six uh layers of cotton so i fold it one two three four five six yeah fold it one more time and i think it could just fit underneath the uh, foot and <laughs> obviously it went well so last time that's why i'm testing this out um so yeah just starting again now and i think maybe i have to like press a couple more times before oh gosh actually it did work okay it snapped completely the thread but it did um so through the six layers so that works too actually um at this point it is kind of pretty it's thicker than i thought it would expect to break i expected this to break much sooner looking at this um it does sew so that's the thing this actually sews which is 
more than I expected at first. I thought it would like literally completely break us apart as soon as I started using. Thought like nothing will happen. So I'm proud of this <laughs> with the machine that it worked through more than one thin cotton of layer as well. Worked through like this amount of thickness, which I think is pretty reasonable because like fabric such as a jacket, which is slightly um, thicker, it'll work for as well because it's the same thickness I think so uh, it does work on some thicker fabrics which is nice um, setting it up so it was kind of like a ready sort of preset the certain parts for me so it was a bit of a cheat <laughs> um, but threading it is a bit difficult like if you're lucky you might be able to thread it the first time however <laughs> I think like most people you it usually takes a couple try the instructions uh setting it up was fine using it but actually using it there wasn't really any instructions which uh for me I mean it looks easy to use but I feel like there's some sort of proper technique because at some point it was working at some point it didn't and I felt like that was more to do with my technique than maybe the device itself because it did puncture through the material. The quality itself of the device for I guess if it is £5 or it's at least less than £10 is like what I would expect. Um, just some cheap kind of plastic but it holds itself together and has all the parts you need so can you really complain <laughs> that much um and it comes in this like cute little pouch which you can keep it in which is really nice and it does give you if you need to use a larger bobbin which i feel like it would be really awkward to use if you had a larger bobbin because you're trying to hold your device like um so and i feel like i guess it depends which one i'm left-handed so I don't know how that would work if the bobbin's here and I'm left-handed. If you're right-handed, I guess it'll work. So it's also that to think about if you're going to use for a larger bobbin. I think it'll be fun to sometimes use this, but I might stick to hand sewing more because I'm more confident in that. And I still kind of need to get used to this. So yeah, hopefully I can practice more and it'll be better in the future. But yeah, like usual, thanks for watching. Write a comment down below what you thought of this video. Like this video so I know you enjoy the type of content. Recommend me other types of arts and crafts stuff you'd like to see me do. I'm always open to that. And yeah, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!